हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ समित कुमार पमनानी फ्रॉम इंजीनियस एकेडमी और टुडेज टॉपिक इज एक्सेलरेशन डायग्राम सो बिफोर मूविंग टुवर्ड्स द एक्सेलरेशन डायग्राम फर्स्ट लेट सी अ क्विक रिकैप टू वेलोसिटी डायग्राम सपोज दिस इज अ लिंक ए बी If we need to find the velocity of A with respect to B, what we will do? We will draw a vector which will be perpendicular to link AB. This vector will represent the velocity of AB. Now this direction will be decided by the direction of omega. Omega is the angular velocity. Okay. If this is in clockwise direction, then the velocity vector will be this side. If it will be anti-clockwise direction, then the velocity vector will be opposite direction. Okay. And this will be equal to omega into the length of link AB. So this was a quick recap of velocity diagram. Now similarly, suppose we need to find the acceleration of A with respect to B then we need to find two components that are radial component and tangential component radial component is parallel to link or we can say that perpendicular to velocity and the tangential component is perpendicular to link or we can say that parallel to velocity now the magnitude of radial component is calculated by V suppose we are calculating the radial component of link AB so AB square velocity upon the length of link AB and the tangential component is calculated by alpha alpha is angular acceleration into the length of link AB so if we will find we want to find the acceleration of A with respect to B acceleration of A with respect to B then we need to find these two components radial component is parallel to the link so it will point downwards and the tangential component is perpendicular to the link so it will point out like this now again this direction will be decided by omega and alpha alpha is the angular so the acceleration of a with respect to b is the resultant of radial component and the tangential component so b is the fixed point so we will draw b point b b dash and will draw the radial component first and then the tangential component okay now this the resultant this will direct the acceleration of a with respect to b and this will be radial and this will be tangential so this was a basic description about the acceleration we will further move to a question suppose we are given with this question in which this is the diagram okay and given that the crank p1a has an angular velocity of 10 radian per second so angular velocity omega of p1a is 10 radian per second and the angular acceleration is 30 radian per second square so alpha of p1a is 30 radian per second square so first we need to draw the space diagram or the configuration diagram of the figure given here okay so first we will draw space diagram or we also call it as a configuration diagram okay so it is given that there is a point p1 and there is a point p2 the distance between them is 600 mm before drawing this diagram we need to take a scale okay so by looking at figure we can think that the scale may be 100 mm is equal to 1 centimeter so this 600 mm the distance between p1 and p2 will be 6 centimeter and then p1a p1a is 60 degree here it is given that angle a 
P1, P2 is 60 degree. So from P1, draw a line at 60 degree. And this line will be of 3 centimeter because it is given that 300 mm or you can write it as 300 mm and the length will be 3 centimeter. Now AB will be 3.6 centimeter from B to BP2 it will be again 3.6 centimeter. So this will be our space diagram or the configuration diagram. By using this diagram we will find out the velocity diagram okay so first we will find out the link for which the omega is given omega is the angular velocity so here it is given that angular velocity of this okay both direction are given as clockwise so omega is also clockwise and alpha is also clockwise but for velocity diagram we only need omega Okay, so we will start with the fixed links, fixed star, P1 and P2. Okay, so first we will find the velocity of A with respect to P1. This will be perpendicular to this in this direction. P1, A. Okay, and then AB that will be perpendicular to this link. We don't know the length as omega is unknown of AB. So we'll, we know the direction. So we'll draw a line in that direction. But we don't know the magnitude. So we'll not point out any B. Okay. And similarly from point B2 means velocity of B with respect to P2 can be find out by the vector perpendicular to BP2 link. Okay. So BP2 link is this and perpendicular line will be this will be passed to P2. So this will be the line. So this is the point B. This will be the velocity diagram of this 4 bar mechanism chain. Okay. Now by using this we will draw the angular acceleration diagram. For every link we will get two component the radial component and the tangential component. So when we look at the link AP1 first let us see the radial, diag uh, radial component. So again the fixed point will be P1, P2, radial component will be in this direction and the tangential component will be perpendicular so in this direction. Okay. So by using this too we can draw it easily such that the radial component is parallel to AP1 and the tangential component will be parallel to the velocity diagram. So for link AP1 the radial component is parallel to AP1 and the tangential component is parallel to P1A. Okay, so we can draw it easily the radial component, the radial component, radial component of AP1, VAP1 square upon AP1 length of link and this, this VAP1 we will get from here AP1, sorry this is small AP1, okay, so length of this small AP1 we will get from here and we will square it divided by the length of link AP1, so we will get the magnitude of radial component of AP1. Similarly for the tangential component what we will do alpha AP1 into length of link AP1. Alpha is given 30 radian per second square and AP1 is also given 300 mm. Okay. So from, the, from there we will draw the tangential component will be like this. So this will be radial component of AP1 and this will be the tangential component of AP1. Okay, so the resultant between this will show the acceleration of this will be acceleration of the link AP1. Okay, similarly we will go for the link AB. Okay, AB the radial component will be parallel to this B with respect to A. Okay, so we will start from B A sorry we will start from A. So parallel to this is this line. And we do uh, we know the uh, we know the magnitude of the radial component of each uh, each link. So okay, as we know the velocity vector of each link, so uh, velocity of angular uh, radial component of B A will be equal to the velocity of B A 
square upon the length of link BA. Okay, so we will get from here the radial component of the link BA. So we will know the magnitude of this. So this line will be drawn. Okay, then tangential component will be perpendicular to this. But we don't know the magnitude as alpha means angular acceleration of AB is unknown. Okay, so from here we will draw a perpendicular line to this. This will show the tangential, the direction of tangential component but the magnitude is still unknown. Next, the link BP2, the radial component will be in this direction. So, from here the radial component is this direction. This will be the radial component. Again, the radial component magnitude will be known. The velocity of uh, BP1 square upon the length of link BP1 and the tangential component from here. The tangential component will be perpendicular to this. This will be the line. Okay, this will be the point. So AP1, this and this from here, this will be the diagram. Okay, so this, this and this will be the acceleration diagram. Okay, so for every link we got the radial component and tangential component. So this will be the length of the tangential component of link BA. As we don't know the component, so from this diagram we come to know the uh, component of tangential component. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this will be beneficial to you. Thank you.